Hey, what's going on everybody? This episode, I'm gonna be discussing Gradle. And this is basically a way for you to pull software into your project that you might need. So for example, maybe you want to work with a database, you can pull in the code that you need. Basically, Gradle is a build tool. So you have a build configuration which defines what things you need and the steps to take and so forth. Now I just wanted to throw this out there before we start that if you're new to this, it can be a little complicated and I'm just saying that from experience because build tools have always been my weakness. It took me forever to even figure out how to get my project up and even started. <laughs> but you might breeze through this like nothing. Everybody has their own weaknesses and strengths. So I guess we'll just see. So the very first thing is you'll want to install Gradle and it'll show you how to do this. I personally think the easiest thing to do is to use Homebrew. So you can follow these instructions. There's also something with SDK man. And if you're on Windows, that's gonna be your research project for today. If you're following along with this series and you have any issues, don't worry about it because we're not really gonna be using Gradle a whole lot more in this series. I just wanted to teach it because I think it is a good topic to cover. But after this video, we'll probably be moving on to something new. So follow along if you want, or if you just want to watch this to learn a little bit, I think that's totally fine too. So this is the code that we're going to be using on Mac, brew install Gradle. However, you can't just say brew right offhand, you actually have to install a software called Homebrew. So to install Homebrew, what we need to do is we need to copy this command, go into the terminal and paste it. That will give you Homebrew, which I already got installed, so I'm gonna delete this. So all you have to do is say brew install Gradle and then you're done. So press enter and it'll install. Now, if by chance you get it to freeze, because when I did this initially, it just froze. It said like updating brew or something, homebrew. And I just looked it up online. I found this article on Stack Overflow, brew upgrade hangs on El Capitan. I honestly don't even know how to say that. I think it's El Capitan, I don't know. Um, and I just followed these steps here. I think the one that helped me fix it was this line here, mainly to install the Xcode command line tools. So go through these steps and you should be able to get it up and running and have Gradle installed. So once you got it installed, here's how you start using it. First thing, we're going to make a directory and we'll just call this Gradle CD into that directory. So now you can see our path is right here. Now just say Gradle init. Now you have some options on what to generate. You can generate a Java application. So we'll hit two and then three for Java. And then we will go with Groovy for the DSL stands for domain specific language. Basically a, a slight variation of either the Groovy language or the Kotlin language. If you're not familiar with either one, doesn't really matter. Just go with Groovy because that's what we're gonna be using. Select the test framework, doesn't matter, just go with one. Project name, probably something really cool, like legit. Sure. All right, cool. So now you can say ls and you can see the content of this application. So we generated an application and to build it, what you do is you just say gradle w build. So this dot forward slash will access content in the current directory and we're going for this file right here. And then we add build right after and press enter. It's gonna do junk. And that is how you build your application. All right, so what else are we going to show? Well, let's clear the screen. We'll say Gradle W and we'll say run. And check it out, it says hello world. So the code that was generated was a hello world program. And right now we're not able to see that because we're just in the, in the console here, or the terminal. If you want to see it, you have a couple options. Open it up in a text editor or Eclipse, or you can just use this. You can explore the files, you know, change directories into any particular folder. Take a look at what's in here.
So we're in the legit folder, and then we could say less, oops, <laughs> app.java, and here's our code. Now maybe you guys are pros at working in the terminal for editing text files, but it's not my personal favorite. So what I'll do is X out of this using Q and open this within a text editor. So we're in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to open a folder, go into my Gradle folder, and hit open. So now we opened our project. Now you can explore the different files. So for example, build.gradle. This is a really important one. For example, you'll see in here, this plugin section has ID Java and ID application. These plugins will give us additional things we can do with our project. And then down here, the dependencies, this is where you can define different software you need to pull into your software. So that is how you thrive if you are a terminal and text editor kind of guy or girl. Um, if you are more of an IDE kind of person, I'm going to be showing you how to do this same stuff inside of Eclipse, how to get a project started and get working with it. So let's go over to Eclipse. And we can just X out of everything we have open, just start fresh. So before we start creating new projects in Junk, we're actually going to install a plugin. So what we can do is go into help and go into the Eclipse Marketplace, which is kind of just like an app store. You can download cool things like Flappy Bird. No, I'm just kidding, like actually useful software stuff. And one of them in here is going to allow us to work with Gradle. So I actually have it installed. So I can go to the Installed tab. And it's called BuildShip. Here's the exact name. You can search that and you can install it if you would like to follow along with this tutorial. So now what we can do is go file, new, and we'll go with, let's just click other for a second. And then in here under Gradle, Gradle project. Again, we're just going to give it some stupid names. It doesn't really matter. Give your project a name. And that's going to generate our project over here on the left, which looks very similar to the one we generated inside of the terminal. So for example, we have this build.gradle, which has some similar stuff in here. Now again, to make things complicated, if you were in your code, like let's say you have main and you create a class, let's just go in here, give it a public static void main. If you open this and you're getting all of these different syntax errors, this is just another level of making things complicated. <laughs> so this is not actually incorrect code. Like we've typed this out a ton, tons of times. So why are we getting these errors? Well, I think this is actually a bug in Eclipse and I did research on how to get this fixed. So let me show you how it's done. You just follow these steps in this Stack Overflow post right here. Or what actually worked for me is this one right here. So I'm gonna do that. Go up to the top, Project, Properties, open up Java Build Path and then libraries, see this JRE system library here, click that and hit remove, select the class path, add library, JRE system library, next, finish. And there we go, we added that back in, apply and close, and the syntax errors go away. So then the other thing is under window, you can go into views, other, Gradle, and Gradle tasks. Open that, and that'll open up down here if it was not already open, which I think mine was, I just didn't see it. And then open up your project, and open up build. Now over here in the right, there's this little refresh button. Hit that. Okay, it reclosed everything, sorry. And this is going to make sure everything is up to date. Now again, we can hit build here and that would be the equivalent of building the project, which I showed you how to do in the terminal. So another thing you'll want to do is go into build.gradle and go down to the bottom here and we're gonna add a little section right here. This comes by default when we generate with the terminal, but not so much in Eclipse. So we're gonna copy this application section and also we're going to add the ID application to the plugin section. So first thing, we'll say ID application and then go down here and paste this main class name. So the value you want here 
is the project followed by the class for your main, which I, ours is actually test, which is probably a terrible name. So let's actually rename that. Just refactor, rename. We'll call this app. Finish. Finish. All right, so legit.app is where to start. And now inside of your Gradle tasks, do a refresh and you should see this application run, which is what we want. So hit that, see all of the check marks go off. If there's any issues, go into the console and scroll through here, see what the errors are. But it looks like everything worked out. So what I wanna do is I wanna go into app.java and just do a simple hello world. And now let's do the run again. So go into the Gradle tasks and run. Console, and let's see if we can find it. Why is this so complicated? Awesome. So I think we got our hello world. It only took us like 10 minutes. Um, and now what I wanna do is I wanna make this a little bit easier so you don't have to go into the Gradle tasks every two seconds. Go into the project, right click, and run as Java application and make sure it's selected, hit OK, and we'll get that output right there, and now we can just hit run like normal. So let's just test it out. Run, and it says, is it working? So now we can build upon our application, but we got that Gradle there if we need it. For example, if we need to use a particular database, you know, maybe MongoDB or something, we can go into the, the build.gradle and add a dependency right here.